caught on surveillance video just released by the 7-Eleven store on North Milwaukee Avenue. The woman says she was entering the convenience store at about 10.20 Monday morning. A man she had never met swung at her on his way out, giving her a broken nose. She had reconstructive surgery this morning. The uh, ferocity of this attack is just indicative of the criminals knowing that there's, there's no deterrent out here. They can do what they want. Police are using the surveillance video to try and identify the woman's attacker. <laughs> man, man, man. Whew. <laughs> that's coming. All right. And what you just saw, man, hey, that's what's coming, man, to a lot of you women, bro. All right. But first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about Shimyao Shai? By Shem Rakakadash, the Lungs to the Elves and the Apostles of Great Millstone, who were well, peace, blessings, and salutations. Goes to the hopeful net that is scattered abroad to you, brothers out there, pushing this truth with our rights, nets, and sincerity, and to the Yaqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say, Shalom Wong. Coming back at you in another quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahabah Shemyao Shai, lowly and edifying the faith and lambs of Yahabah Shemyao Shai. I pray it's a lesson to be edifying and straight to the point, man. And hey, that what you just saw right there, that second video, that's what's coming for a lot of you women, man. All right, but you women are still in this damn spirit of I don't need a man. I can do bad all by myself, this and that, man. Like the brother in the comment board, man. All right, <laughs> like the brother, I'm one of bad in the comment board. All right, he's still saying I don't need a man. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that woman in that second video wasn't thinking that. All right, she wasn't thinking that. All right. She was hoping the man come in there and stop that Jake from whooping her ass, man. I don't know what the hell she did, but whatever she did, <laughs> she got her ass whipped, all right? And that's what's coming for a lot of you women, man, all right? Not just the Israelite women, but for you but you women in general, man. Because a lot of you women, you run your mouths too much. You talk too damn much. You this all this feminism, I don't need a man bullshit. All of that's about to cease. And now I guarantee you, at that moment, when that woman was getting her ass whipped by this Jake, she wasn't thinking, I don't need a man. She was hoping a man would come in there and stop this guy and pull him off of her. But nobody came. And that's what's going to happen for a lot of you women, man. These men are going to put a foot in your ass, and no one is going to come to your aid and are going to come to your rescue. Not even these beta male sense, man. Okay? Because, hey... These beta male simps ain't, they ain't gonna be getting their asses whipped as well, man. Okay? So, hey, man, you women, all right? Now, this ain't talking about you few sisters that are listening and learning, man. So, you few sisters out there that's doing what you're told, not being a, you know, this bad boss bitch. I don't say it, I don't need a man. Hey, shout one to you, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And to you women out there, you few sisters that got husbands that's in the truth. You know, you're obeying them. You're doing what they tell you to do. Hey, shout one to you, man. Respect, all right? But to the rest of you women, it's going to be all fair game for you, man. It's going to be a bloodbath for you women, man, out here pretty soon. Judgment is coming for you wicked-ass women, man. Especially you two-thirds of like women. And all this talk about, I don't need a man. I can do battle by myself. I'm just independent. I can whoop a man's ass. Man, please, all that shit gonna go out the door, man, okay? So, let's, let's move on, man, all right? Let's, I got some articles. I got two articles I want to show you, man, okay? Because, hey, these men are tired of you winning, man, all right? And the Lord Yahweh is about to put a spirit 
on these men to just get a foot off in that ass, man. Okay? They're about to get a foot off in that ass, man. This is from the New York Post. It says, young mom shot dead in on Upper East Side victim domestic uh, violence, man. Okay? These men have had enough of you women, man. Okay? All right? I'm not really going to read this. All right? I'm just going to show this Jake woman here. You see her. With the gray hair and like she was pregnant. All right? Looking like that's her daughter. All right? You see these women, man. How they look. I'm not even going to, you know, show the rest of that. I'm not even going to read this, man. But, hey, the Lord is about to put a spirit on these men, a vicious spirit on these men to get a foot off in your ass, man. The horrible judgment is coming for you women. All right? Check this out, man. All right? This one here got me, man. Look, this woman here, she was stabbed. Oh, she's this is a Marine woman, all right? This is supposed to be a so-called Marine woman, man. She was in the military, all right? No, it's not like it is maimed. Somebody, I'm sorry about that. My bad. Maine, the maimed woman stabbed 484 times during drug robbery. 484 times. That was a vicious spirit that was put on this uh, Edomite man. So I'm about to go to this man right here that did it. All right. And, of course, this woman who ate it, you know. All right, <laughs> Kim put Kim put up a good fight. <laughs> yeah, she put up a good fight to the end. Okay, this woman here was stabbed over four hundred and eighty-four times, man. Four hundred and eighty-four times. That was a spirit created for vengeance, man. Okay, wow. <laughs> hey, lot of women gonna be stabbed over the more than that. <laughs> hey, let's, let's read a little bit of this. I'm, I'm gonna read a little bit of this. I'm not gonna read it all. All right, it says a main woman was stabbed 484 times during a frenzied attack that police said was carried out by a pair looking to steal what's that? Xanax, Xanax pills and cash from her. So she had some drugs on her, man. All right, Kimberly Neptune, 43 of uh, Perry had hundreds of wounds on her legs, stomach, neck, and head when her body, like when her bloody body was discovered by her brother wrapped in a blanket. Damn. In April, this happened way back in April, though, but hey, still that fine, though, man. State police detectives Lawrence Anderson wrote in a affidavit that was uns unsealed Wednesday and obtained by the Bangor Daily News, all right? So this woman was, whew, she was put to death, man. Wow, all right? So let's get some scriptures. I'm not going to read all of that. But hey, this is the time we in, man. And the Lord is about to, <laughs> Lord is about to execute some judgment, man, okay? All right? Lord is about to execute some judgment. This is Sirach chapter 39 and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. You being stabbed over 484 times, that was, that was a fury. A spirit really created for vengeance to put on your ass and laid on some heavy, heavy sore strokes, man. This woman really fucked up in her past, man. Whatever she did in her past night, she came back and she paid for it dearly. All right, let's read on. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Okay? Just like that. This one like was put to death by her ex-boyfriend, man. Okay? And then those two women, all right, the first woman you saw the video, all right, this woman was hit while a man was coming out the store. And then in a phone store, looked like a cricket store, all right, okay, hey, this Jay walk up and just start... <laughs> Start plumbing in her, man. Start beating the shit out of her, man. That spirit is created for vengeance, man. Okay? All right? The Lord controls both good and evil. And that's what a lot of you people don't seem to understand. Even two-thirds of our own people don't seem to quite understand and can't comprehend that, man. The Lord controls both good and evil. And as a matter of fact, let's get that scripture. 
I got it in here. All right. Let's see right here. This is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, do all these things. The Lord is behind good and evil, man. And that's what a lot of you people can't quite seem to understand and can't quite seem to comprehend. All right, because you've been taught in these damn churches and the harlot houses that God is all love. He's a loving God. He loves everybody. All that bullshit, all this madness. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. I hear that bullshit so much. I'm like, man, just, I'm going to be like telling you, just shut the fuck up, man. I don't want to hear that crap. Because you don't know the God of the Bible, man. You two third Israelites, you don't know the God of the Bible. All right, it wasn't meant for the heathens to know. And these Edomites to know, all right? Hey, it was meant for you Israelites to know the God of the Bible, man. And only the elect knows the God of the Bible, man. This is why we see these things. Hey, we rejoice, all right? We rejoice over these things. Yeah, it sounds cruel, but hey, we look. When the Lord going to laugh when this shit starts to happen to you women, man? All right? Especially to you Israelite women. We're just going to sit back and just watch. We ain't hey. Hey, man, the men of the Lord are going to have a cold, cold, vindictive spirit on them in these days to come. Because a lot of you Israelite women, you just deserve what's coming to you, man. You run your mouth too damn much. You talk out of turn. You telling a man what to do and shit. Men are fed up with that crap, man. Okay? Let's read this again. Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 39, verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. The teeth of wild beasts and scorpions and serpents and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. All these were created for the wicked, man. And hey, a lot of you are just wicked, man. Two-thirds of all women, all right? Israelite women, Negro, Latino, Native American women, just wicked. Including the men as well, all right? I don't want nobody coming on the comment board and saying, hey, you just picking on the women and all of this and blah, blah, blah. Shut up, man. Hey, we don't just pick them. We get on all you Israelites, man, okay? We don't just get on the men. We get on the men a lot. But, hey, we're going to get on you women as well, man, all right? Now, this don't apply to the few sisters that are listening and learning, but this applies to you wicked-ass two-third women that don't want to get in order, all right? Because you two-third Israelite women, you hate order. And hey, in the times we coming into, your ass is about to get back in order, all right? Verse 31, and really, you're going to be forced to get back in order through the spirit and power of your how about Shmiel Shai, okay? Verse 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. When these deaf angels get busy, man, they're not going to transgress the words of the Lord. They're going to do what they're told. Okay, uh, let's see, yeah, I want to go here, because, hey, whoever perished being innocent, and I'm talking about that Israelite woman, man, I ain't talking about the heathen woman, now, that heathen woman, she could have been a Jake, I don't know, but nevertheless, all right, let's read on, Joel chapter 4, and verse 7, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off, all right, and the reason why I'm reading this scripture, man, because I don't need nobody coming on the comment board, Talking about, if that Eve woman, God bless her soul, and she, she died, and you picking on her, and all this. Man, be quiet, man. Let them prophets do the talking, okay? All right? Let the men of the Lord do the talking, man. That woman wasn't innocent, all right? The woman that was, uh, you know, let's go to it, man. Let's go back to it. Not this one. Hold on. Right here. All right? This woman, this is a white woman, she was not innocent, okay? She was not innocent, she was guilty, all right? All right, uh, let's see, let's just read what, let's just read what happened to her though, all right? Asia Johnson, 20, had been allegedly assaulted by her ex-boyfriend, which was basically her husband, by the way, there's no such thing as a boyfriend, at least once, and was racking, racked with fear, when he found out she had been, she had given birth and had been released from the hospital, according to her heartbroken mother, Lisa Desor. 
he was he was stalking her to the point he knew when she was discharged from the Mount Sinai hospital with her with her daughter all right the young mother even moved to a domestic abuse shelter at one point to keep safe but somehow he found out where my daughter lived all right so not domestic violence we don't encourage that over here though but man hey hey like i say man spirit created for vengeance man all right i don't know what she was doing she might have did something to him all right but that's no excuse for what the man did but hey we don't excuse what this man did, but still, still a spirit created for vengeance, man. She was not innocent on her part, okay? She was not innocent. We got to take feelings out of this, man, all right? Got to take feelings out of this thing, man, all right? We look at both sides of the spectrum, okay? Despite her fears, Johnson texts relatives she planned to meet the infant's dad on Wednesday night because she felt bad that he wasn't in their daughter's life and wanted her to know him sources and relatives says all right let's go down here she was walking with her baby girl in a stroller at around 8 25 p.m that night near the corner of lexington avenue and east 95 95th street when an assailant dressed in a black hoodie and sweat sweatpants shot her once in the head and fled hmm yeah, it was basically him, all right, because he'd been charged for that. She was target, all right, right, a right, that's like a high-ranking police source said it was a close headshot and there was powder burns, all right, and you, of course you see what happened. I'll put the rest of this in the description box, but this woman was an innocent man, all right, she was not innocent, like, let me read it again. <clears throat> Let's read this scripture again. Okay. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. And that was the Lord. Allowed her to be put to death, man. Okay. That was the Lord. How about she allowed her to be put to death? Okay. All right. Job chapter 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perish, being innocent, or where will the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. By the blast of Yahweh they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. So no one dies being innocent, man. This woman wasn't innocent, okay? And the Lord put her ass to death, man. Whatever she did, the Lord put her to death for it, all right? She might have did something in her past life, or she might have done something she wasn't had no business doing or something. Whatever. The case may be she was put to death, man. All right? Let's just leave it there. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. That was judgment, okay? Judgment. And a lot of judgment is coming to you women. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're an Israelite woman, a heathen woman, an Edomite woman, it don't matter. Judgment is about to be executed, man, on this earth, okay? <clears throat> This is Zephaniah 3 and verse 5. The just Lord, Yahweh Shinyal Shai, is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. Okay? It don't matter. Okay? And we got to bring this out, man. The men of the Lord, we have to bring this out. Ready you want to hear, or ready you will forbear. And I'm talking to you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. We have to bring this out to hey. To scare some, basically scare some sense into you, man. Especially you Israelite women, man. All right? Not the elect, the few sisters that are listening and learning. But the majority of you women need to be scared straight. Because if you don't listen to the man of the Lord, hey, eventually, <laughs> you're going to be wishing you did, man. You're going to be wishing you listened to the man of the Lord. Because a lot of you Israelite women are about to get jacked up out here, man. The Lord is not playing anymore, man. All right? Let's go to Matthew Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12, because this is what's going on, man. All right. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. It's about to be a cold world out here, man. And let's go here. Let's go to my blue letter Bible. All right. Let's get this. All right. Let's go. Let's basically go here. All right. Let's go to the comparisons. All right. 
And we're going to read this. All right, we read the King James Version. All right, let's read the New King James Version. And because, and because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. And that's what's happening. The love of many is growing cold, man. All right? The N NLT, the New Living Translation. Sin will be rampant everywhere. And sin is rampant everywhere, man. Lawlessness. All right? The wickedness of this place, man, have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And you see wickedness every damn where. Okay? Uh, the NLT. Sin will be rampant everywhere and the love of many will grow cold. Okay? All right? The DBY. And because lawlessness shall prevail, the love of the most shall grow cold. All right? And you see lawlessness. All right? RSV. And because wickedness is multiplied, all right? Like it tells you. Let me go. Hold on. Let me get a scripture right quick. What does it tell you? Hmm. All right. Let's go to Proverbs 16. And not Proverbs. No, not Proverbs 20. It's Proverbs 29 and 16. Slock. You're sorry about that. Proverbs chapter 29, verse 16. When the wicked are multiplied, transgressions increaseth, but the righteous shall see their fall. Wickedness is multiplying, transgression is increasing. Why? Because of who's in rulership. Esau is the so called white man. This is why the things are going on, man. Lawlessness is increasing throughout the four corners of the earth. Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And they're hurt for worse off a field. Second there's just the fifteenth chapter. Let's go back. Uh where was I? Uh where was I? Where was I? Where yeah, right here. RSV. And because wickedness is multiplied, most men's love will grow cold. <laughs> hey man, most men love will grow cold. You saw what happened in those two videos, man, that I showed you. Even these men are getting tired of you damn women, man. <laughs> hey, this is what's going on. Okay? And can you blame these men? No, you can't. Alright? Men have put up with a lot from you women throughout the years, man. This, this feminism bullshit. Alright? This feminism. All of this shit, man. And men are just tired, man. Alright? A man don't want to put up with no loud mouth woman. I know I don't, man. I hate loud mouth and butchy women, man. I can't stand a, a woman that's talking loud and all of that shit. I like a woman that's silent. You know what? I got to get that scripture, man. Let's get this, man. Hold on. <laughs> I got to get this. I'm going to come back. I got to get this, man. This is what I like in a woman. All right? And I'm quite sure a lot of men out there like this in a woman, too. Where is that? Uh, no. Yeah, right here. I'm right. Soraka Ecclesiastes chapter 26 and verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. Yahabashin Yahshai. A silent and loving woman. A woman that knows to keep her mouth shut and loving to her husband, man. That's what a man wants. That's what I want. That's what I like in women, man. Do you think I want a loud mouth, butchy women? These women make you want to choke their necks. And, you know, you can't do that. But the way these women just talk to you, treat you, and all this shit, man, these, <laughs> these women make you want to, but we can't do that, though, all right? Us men, we can't do that, man. The elect, man, we're not going to do that. The Lord's elect, the hopeful elect for men, the hopeful elect Israelite men, we ain't going to do that, man, all right? Hey, you, we going to get our chance to get our hands on you, uh, you Israelites, man, you two-thirds. But that's going to happen when spiritual powers come upon the men of the Lord. All right? Because like it tells you in Psalms 110 and verse 3, the, uh, thy people should be willing in the day of thy power. You think a woman going to be running her mouth when she see the man of the Lord with spiritual powers and what that man can do? Hell no. Okay? Two-thirds of these men out here, two-thirds of these Israelite men and these heathen men, they ain't going to get off on you. They ain't going to put a lot of you women to death, man. And we got to give it to you straight because this is what's coming. No filters, no emotions involved, man. We got to tell you like it is, whether you like it or whether you don't. And here's, and that's for me, I don't give a shit. I don't give a rat's ass if you do like it or not. I don't give a damn, okay? We, the men of the Lord, we don't give a damn about your feelings over here. 
You're not, your feelings are not going to be spared over here. All right. Your emotions not going to be spared. We're going to tell you the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Okay. Like it tells you in uh, John chapter 8 verse 32, uh, verse 32, and ye shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Truth shall set you free, man. All right. There's a saying, you should know truth and the truth shall set you free. All right. <laughs> Let's read on, man. Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter 26 and verse 14. A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord Yahweh Shiyoshai, and there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. A mind well instructed woman that ain't running her mouth. That da 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 da, get in that kitchen and cook me some, uh, some catfish and some shrimp and make me some cakes and all that bullshit, man. I'm looking at you like you crazy. I'm like, you get your ass in there and cook your own food, man. I ain't cooking shit for your ass. You hear me? You get your ass in that kitchen. You wash them dishes. You sweep that floor. You do what you're supposed to do as a woman. Woman means female servant. Okay, and Lord willing, I hope this video will get taken down. If it does, I don't give a shit, man. But hey, man, look, you women about to get right back in order, man. I don't give a damn, okay? If this video get taken down, I don't care. Hell, fuck it. <laughs> Forget it, man. But hey, <laughs> look, <laughs> I don't care, all right? <laughs> I really don't, okay? <laughs> hey, we got to tell you like it is, man. I don't give a damn if I, who feelings I hurt. If you feelings hurt... Then hey, this must be applying to you. If your feelings ain't hurt, then hey, leave it alone, man. All right, <laughs> let's go back to this. <laughs> let's go back to this, man. It's um, that that's basically saying the same thing. Um, let's see, let's go down here. BBE, and because wrongdoing will be increased, the love of most people will grow cold. Will become cold, and that's exactly what's going on, man. Okay, let's skip down here. The NASB 20, and it says, And because longlessness is increased, most people love will become cold. And that's what you see happening, man. Same thing. Because longlessness is increased, most people love will grow cold. And that's what you're seeing. What's happening? That's what you're seeing happening. Okay? All right? Talking about getting in the kitchen and wash dishes and cook for you. Man, please. Who you think I am? Hell no. You get your ass in that kitchen and cook for your damn self. Then fix me a plate while you at it. I don't want any uh, catfish or none of that shit. Better cook, fix me a sandwich. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I'm just playing. All right? But hey, <laughs> you women going to be put back in order, man. All right? You women about to get back in order, man. Okay? Enough is enough. The bullshit. All right? These men have had enough, man. <laughs> this is uh Psalms chapter 19 verse 16. The glory of Bashiyah Shah is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands, hanging on Selah. Okay? Hey, the glory of Bashiyah Shah is known by the judgment which he executed. Okay? Oh, hey. Look. <laughs> you, look. Now the judgment is about to go forth, man. Alright? What more can I say? Okay? What more can I say? And if you women refuse to get in order, man, hey, you're going to be forced to get back in order, man. You're going to be forced to get back in order. All this talk about I don't need a man and all this bullshit, that's about to cease to exist, man. Okay? So I'm in the lesson here, man. Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications goes to Yahweh by Simeon Shai, by Shemra Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well. Peace, blessings, and salutations go to the whole for let that scatter abroad. See you in another lesson soon, Lord willing. Call me on Sharon Shawn Wong. Why about a ball? About one, excuse me, DTA about a ball. Boom. Shawn Wong till next time. Shawn Wong.